perfect time to teach kids a few life lessons on love at their level, of course. And so today we're rolling out a list of fun Valentine books you and your little loves will enjoy reading together. Diane Etherington with the Children's Hour Bookstore has rounded up some of her very favorite February reads, new books to add to your list as well, and she's here to share those with us. Are you a fan of Valentine's Day? I love Valentine's Day. I mean, you get to work with these cute kids and these families, and what better way to celebrate, right, than with their cute spirits? Well, what a thing to celebrate. Absolutely. Love. It's great. Let's yeah. dive in. My bookshelves always get fuller after Diane's here. So what's this first one you're recommending? Oh, this one is so cute. This is Henry and Chloe. This is about a crush, you know, oh, a, yes. a, little, a little bunny boy who has a crush on this little girl in his Henry class. Henry likes his little mm -hmm. classmate. Yeah, and actually the teacher really helps. She doesn't know she's helping, but she kind of helps. And um, anyway, it's a very cute story, for, uh, particularly for little kids who kind of have that little sure, crush. Sure, they're thing. entering that, yeah, you know, that, little, that little arena, so elementary phase. school. Yeah. The illustrations are kind of unique. I mean, they're cute, but they're different. Oh, I love him. He, this is about, he has six, six book maybe, and he, all of his, they're very soft. Yeah, oh, soft, that's a good word, soft, soft, yeah, soft. soft. All right, what's this one? I Heart You. This one is brand new, and it's just adorable. All different little animals um, saying how they love their little ones. This is by a friend of mine, Sarah Jane, correct? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're so excited for her. I've been seeing it everywhere. She helped, I know, with the illustrations. Meg Fleming did the did the actual text, but it's getting a lot of buzz. Yeah, well, it's very cute. It's a really, it's a really nice one for little kids, for young ones. Sweet. So yeah. sweet. Lots of animals involved. So yes, lots of animals. Little kids will appreciate that. This is um, one that's getting a lot of praise as well. This is Sugar Cookies, and this one, this, this woman has written a lot. She's a Christmas cookies, she's done sugar cookies. This one is, they all have words about love. In them. And so they're kind of sometimes larger words that children may not know or they don't understand what they mean. And endearment. So it's endearment. And so there's a little, um, there's a little explanation of what that is, and, and so a child would understand what that word means. Heartfelt, all Heartfelt. of those words. And all those words that you say, but you really maybe don't, maybe parents don't even know what they mean. <laughs> maybe we need to Google those no, no, no. Anyway, anyway it's, it's, it's really lovely and a lovely way to um, celebrate all these different wonderful words that we use to describe and how I'm we feel. And I'm smitten with the artwork. I always comment, I know, on the illustrations, she's wonderful. but she's those, wonderful. that vintage yeah, she's vibe good. is really sweet. All right, this is Dear Mr. Bear. This is The Valentine Bears. The Valentine Bears. This is, a, this is an old book that has just been reissued in Hardcover. I recognize again. this. Yes, this is a lovely book about Mrs. Bear who is so tired of sleeping through Valentine's Day and she just wants to celebrate it. So she sets an alarm clock and, and when it goes off, she gets up. She doesn't wake her husband up yet because she has to get everything in ready. She has to go get the honey jar and all the things that she's prepared for him and her Valentine's and everything. And then she tries to wake him up and it's hard to wake up, you know, a bear <laughs> in the middle of winter. Finally, she goes to some cold water and she's going to throw it on him, but he surprises her by jumping up and he knew all the time that she was. <laughs> anyway, they have this wonderful little you know, um, Valentine's party between the two of them and go back to bed. Oh my gosh, those pictures are taking me back to my cute? childhood. Yeah. I love those. So cute. All right, next on your list, Plant a Kiss. I love this book about a little girl who kisses the ground. She plants she plants a kiss in the ground and she waits and waits and waits and waits for something to happen. And then she has to be very patient because something doesn't happen in, until, you know, a while into the book. And all of a sudden these sparkles come out. And it's such a fun book because the sparkles are really sparkly oh. in the book. And she decides she wants to share it. Everyone is saying, oh no, it's too rare. You can't, you know, and she's, oh no, this is to, this is to share. So she puts it in a great big bowl and goes around and sprinkles, you know, love That's every so place sweet. she goes. It's very sweet. I have an 18 month old right now who's doing that. The handing oh. kisses out everywhere. Oh, it's Leaning so into the checker at Target and offering her puckered lips. I know, I, it's becoming a problem, but it's <laughs> sweet at the same time. It's very it's cute. sweet. All right, one more for us. Paul meets Bernadette. Okay, this is a very unusual book. This is about a, a, a lone fish oh, no. and, who's lonely in his fishbowl. And he has a very limited, you know, idea of life. And then one day, um, a, new, a new fish gets slipped in, and her name is Bernadette. And she is just marvelous in every way. He falls madly in love with her. Um, someone made a really good decision to put this fish in the yes, bowl. Yes, they did. Anyway, so she has a much broader view, and she can look out of the bowl and see all the things and just make such a big difference in his life. And, and now he, he doesn't um, swim up and down, and this way he follows Bernadette. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Diane, sweet. your words yeah. are always so good. Your book choices are as well. And we can get these at your shop. Tell us where you're located. The corner of 9th and 9th. The most charming bookstore, clothing store. It really is worth the trip. Thank you so Thank much. You. Happy Valentine's Day mm -hmm. to you.